Hey friends, Dr. Heather here from Ask Dr. Heather. I know I haven't been live here in a few days, but um, just wanted to share a few things here. Um, hopefully most of you are actually with your family or friends, having an amazing time, maybe playing some yard darts or some doing some fun activities with your family or maybe traveling to get somewhere. But I have to show you what's happening amazing here. So uh, my husband has been busy, busy, busy out smoking food and it's awfully hard because I you know, often talk about times identifying, are you hungry or does it smell good or have you been saving? up so I know I posted a little bit about yesterday about oftentimes on holidays there had been a time where I really would save up for like pie on Thanksgiving where I'd earn my carbs I work really weak to create a negative calorie calorie deficit so I could have something but to tell you I came out the kitchen to get some more water I know my husband has been smoking really preparing me yesterday and he's been posting pictures to our four sons we have one in Florida we have one at work we have two at a party so I'm gonna show you what he's been doing here today so I came out to get some water but he's like oh you have to try this so I definitely am a food pusher I know I spent an amazing amount of time preparing this food I definitely want to taste things so you have to kind of identify when you're picking food like pick what you really 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 want to taste and identify am I hungry or am I just eating because it smells delicious tastes amazing there has been the master um, smoker today Captain America today so we never make corn I don't think we've had corn in our house for like years but actually he smoked some corn today and yes our grass-fed butters in the background he did some jalapenos there and there is I think um, bacon and some cheese in there maybe some cream cheese he did some mushrooms there with I think bacon and cream cheese this is brisket and it has an amazing smoke ring you guys can see how beautiful that is there let me know where you guys are coming from let me know what you are making at your house for the fourth of july and again happy happy fourth of july drop some pictures down here if you want to share what's happening at your house also had some pork so this was ground pork that he actually put i don't know if it was spinach or mushrooms um uh, what's in here uh, one has spinach uh this one has bacon um caprese cheese uh cheese and pineapple and the other one has mushroom i'm gonna pick up a piece right here M bacon mushroom cheese uh, mozzarella and jalapeno so spinach jalapeno mushroom bacon yes and a little and bit of mozzarella cheese. Okay, so those are ground sausage rolls. He patted out the sausage, put the stuff in there, and rolled them together. I think I put that on Instagram, which is Ask Dr. Heather. And then over here, we're unwrapping. This was actually for me. This is kind of a sweet, smoky, savory piece of salmon that looks delicious. So I actually love to have that on some Napa cabbage. So that is actually for me, but I actually came in here and saw how delicious the um, smoked. It says, rotate my phone. Sorry guys, the phone's acting up. It actually came in here and I thought, I am not really hungry. I was just thirsty, but I had to actually taste the pork. Now I want to taste the salmon. So again, identify if you're hungry, if you're thirsty, if you just want to taste stuff or it smells delicious. And now I don't even know to know what's in here, but I think I know what's in here. I know that I saw there were ribs on the smoker. And again, we have three young men in our home. Do you want to pull this out and just point to what's in there? wings so and we can actually take a quick roll out to the garage so these are what is that ribs so they're ribs that are not cut yet I think we have three full slabs of baby back ribs correct correct all those are ribs all that's ribs and what kind of seasoning um it's called um, um sweet and sweet and fire sweet and higher Okay, so let's go see what's out on the grill. So that's actually a beef tenderloin. Oh, there's a beef tenderloin. And then, uh, we have <laughs> we have a lot of meat going on in our house, and this is weird because usually we're at our cabin in Minnesota for the Fourth of July, um, and we usually have a four plus friends over. Christian, our third son, was going to have a bunch of friends over, but it was raining here in Kansas, so they just butt rub and the. The steak rub, the rancher steak rub. Rancher steak rub. So that's for you, Kimberly. And then anything down here on the bottom? Oh, uh, that's the smoke box. Oh, that's so, no, there's no food down there. Okay. Yum. I love the wings. How much longer on the wings? Um, 30 minutes. Awesome. All right, guys. So hopefully that gives you some ideas. Maybe you've still got some family and friends coming over and really want to maybe just 
try something you haven't tried before. So let us know what you're making. Let us know what you're uh, planning for your 4th of July. We're obviously going to have some leftovers the next couple days. So we do try to plan that out. We do often cook ahead for the Sundays. What do you, there will what? be no leftovers. <laughs> We're talking about not overeating, not overindulging, but I will let you know what we try to do once a month is we do try to do a 60 to 72 hour fast. We call it a reboot because there are often times like this where you overeat, you overindulge, you don't plan on doing that, but even though it's delicious, low carb, healthy, locally grown, ketogenic, clean food, or maybe it's not clean food, maybe you went on a road trip and you ate processed food, trashy food, stuff that has artificial food colorings and flavoring to it, we know that stuff happens. We try to take a pause once a month, let our bodies rest, and really try to participate in letting our guts rest, clean out our guts, and do a 60 plus hour reboot to let our bodies digest. If you want to participate in that, let us know. There's one more day available for that. I think those kits are on sale until tomorrow. But it's days like this, even though it's all amazing food, all of the rubs that we put in there are all um, non processed, or all, I think everything is. What I would say, there's no artificial food or coloring or flavorings, anything like that in there. It's all natural, you know, but we stuff? still overeat. It still just happens because it tastes good, it smells good, and once you get a bite in your mouth, you just want another bite and another bite. And again, very easy to overeat in these type of situations. So, um, and it's <clears throat> it's okay because our bodies are meant to feast and to famine. So we feast on days like this, and then you fall with a famine phase where you let your body rest, you let your body maybe do a 17 to 18 hour fast, or maybe a 24 hour fast to let your body process all those foods, digest all that stuff, because we know if we keep we keep uh, feeding and feeding and feeding, that so actually tends to over bombard our gut. That wasn't really gonna be my topic, but I've gotten a lot of questions. I have actually a whole stack next to my computer. I'm sorry, I've been a little guilty of not doing some Facebook Lives. I need to get back into that to help better you understand your questions. But yes, Mike, I will let him know. Um, that is not a Captain America tattoo. That's a Captain America t-shirt. The tattoo is actually a family tattoo. It's called a family of fighters. My boys got that for me um, based on RSD. When I first diagnosed in 2014, when I was on palliative care, a little sidebar there. So that is a family of fighters tattoo that my husband and three of my sons have. So his uh, t-shirt was probably from Target or something. I don't know. Anyway, I want to just help you guys better understand if you find yourself overindulging today, go out and maybe play some more uh, stuff go out for a walk maybe go for a swim if you're around a pool maybe play some yard darts maybe play a frisbee or some football throw some stuff around if you're going to overindulge do it earlier in the day like it's about four o'clock here so if get to overeat eat over overeat now don't wait till eight o'clock to overeat slow down look at your plate look mindfully maybe fill it up once and say you know I'm good today I'm gonna have leftovers tomorrow know that it's okay to have leftovers not overeat everything today um, sit down have good conversation chew your food enjoy your food be thankful for the food that you have my husband has been cooking since yesterday 24 hours <laughs> he's been preparing this food and so I'd hate to sit down and eat it all in like five minutes so also be mindful and be grateful and show gratitude preparing that food and again enjoy it with your family and friends and if you're not with uh not with the family that you want again we've got family that eats that food and when our family's with us but do eat your eat with your food and think mindful things enjoy some physical activity with that as well and we want to wish you a very 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 happy fourth of july here from ask dr heather and from carden center for wellness and please let us know what you guys are having for your fourth of july let us know where you're sharing that from drop a 60 down below if you want to join us in the 60 hour reboot because once you do participate in that we have a private facebook group we coach you with that um so drop a 60 down below if you're brand new to ask dr heather i've got a welcome letter i want to send you to just right new down and we'll get that sent and then also follow us on ask dr heather we share more stories and uh recipes and things over there so again have an amazing amazing day happy happy fourth of july and we'll be seeing you soon